Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. Today's tip is about suffering in intensive care versus continuing treatment in intensive care. So many families in intensive care come to us and they say things like, you know, the intensive care team is telling them that they should stop life support so that their loved one can stop suffering and that it wouldn't be in their quote unquote best interest to uh, continue treatment because there's too much suffering. Now, I can tell you after having worked in intensive care for over 20 years in three different countries, I can tell you that suffering is inevitable. And the question that needs to be asked is, uh, does your loved one want to live or not? And how much suffering are they prepared to put up with?